Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Puma in collaboration with First Mile. First Mile is a network um, association that brings uh, multi uh, micro businesses across Taiwan, Honduras, and uh, Aihi. And essentially what they do is they help um, these local businesses to collect plastic bottles and instead of plastics uh, to recycle them. And then these recycled material has been used into this pair of shoe but not only this pair of shoe with puma they released like a whole lineup of clothes uh, there was t-shirts pants everything um, so these came in february 2020 um, and there was another set of release in april 2020 and it was really a great i think a great initiative i didn't know about this company if you want to check more about what to do which is really cool stuff check their website put it in the description so quickly around the box because it's a special box uh, so you get puma first my logo then first my logo and puma here again and then a little bit more details here on what first mile uh, is all about again uh, great initiative uh, great great stuff and they have an instagram account as well i put the link also in the description so you can see okay let me take the shoot then and here we go here they are so these are like i said these are trail shoes um so i'm gonna put a disclaimer right now on um, this is not a performance review this is purely a casual review i bought these because i just love the way they look not for i don't do trail yeah i just love the look of the shoe uh, the color blocking the different material that they use the overall shape yeah the really rug look like they, they look bulky and they, they are actually assembled and made to be really robust um it's pretty much like a tank shoe so running through the the details of the shoe so the the entire um upper is a kind of and i'm not sure now it's probably a kind of neoprene i assume uh like i said before that they use this all this recycled material so I, i'm not entirely sure uh what's the exact composition of this upper but this is very supple um very soft it, it's meant to 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 survive you know tough condition right you can you can tell that this is this is pretty solid stuff, uh, but yet it's still supple. So in terms of branding, so you've got the Puma here, then you've got, maybe if I put this with that side, uh, so you've got the first my logo here, Puma logo there, Puma on the tongue, and uh, at the back, Puma logo, bits of Puma here as well, which to be honest, a shame i think they put these on i don't think it's really necessary they look a little bit cheap like the, the way they've been kind of like added up i think they're a little bit unnecessary to be honest um then you've got the puma logo obviously on the side and they've done this 3d effect to it like a wave within the logo which is actually very nice that's a very nice detail here few stitchings elements exposed like this purely i think i guess it's purely aesthetics um you can see around the, here the back of the shoe then you've got obviously on the toe box you get that strap here uh, again doesn't do anything to the shoe purely aesthetics but i actually i actually like this this is quite uh, special i think um pretty nice uh, it's kind of like fabric uh and it connects back with the laces uh, and the laces actually are very thick there. These are like rope laces. Uh, they look awesome. They feel awesome. Um, yeah, the lace on this pair are really nice. And the old shoe is basically um, a sock. It's essentially a sock system. So the, the, the laces actually are, yeah, you can tie them up a little bit more if you want, but almost you don't need them. Like it's really like a one sock uh, system. Uh, and then inside the shoe, you can see the first mile logo on the insole, the Puma logo. You, you get lots of padding at the back on the heel. Outsole, rubber outsole with like some circle design. Um, yeah, it gives you a lot of traction from these, gotta say. Um, and then the technology says hybrid on there. It's the LQD cell, I think 
like uh, system from, from Puma. So the shoe overall is comfortable, uh, but it's super snug in there, like really, really tight. I, I do not recommend that shoe for white feet, definitely. You, you're gonna feel like really uncomfortable. Even for me, gotta say, um, I walk with these, they're kind of like, okay. Uh, but for a long walk, uh, I'm not too sure. This is this is really um, not your day-to-day -day shoe, but still comfortable overall. If if you like snug feet, if you don't like snug, forget it. Uh, I, I think even like with a size up, it doesn't matter. It's just the way that the, the shoe is built with that like sock system. There's no room for for real adjustment to to the shoe. They don't serve any purpose for me particularly i don't do trail i don't do this kind of thing so i just purely bought for the aesthetics and then i realized i pay attention to first mile uh, the association what they're doing um, their role and so on and it's pretty cool you know to buy a shoe knowing that it does help somebody somewhere yeah it's a win-win for me um like the shoe like the concept like the work behind it and um I'm hoping, yeah, they're gonna carry on working together. That's about it for these. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I do post some pictures so you can see a little bit more behind the scene. Ciao.